Well, it's uh, it's been one of our, our more challenging years. Um, certainly, we've we've had to deal with some some new uh, a new issue, and and that uh, uh, hopefully is in a rearview mirror at this point. We think we've uh, uh, figured out the best path forward in terms of of changing a rule relative to our drug testing program that will make things much easier to manage going forward. There's always going to be an Iditarod. Um, we've, uh, I, I consider this more of a, more of a, uh, a growing process than anything else. From the very beginning has maintained that he did not administer any banned substances to his dogs. Um, he's maintained that he did not violate any rules with regard to any banned substances. And the idea did has been clear that they've not charged him or accused him of violating any rules. They've not imposed any sanctions. I'm one who believes we've got, we'll go another 43 years before the next doping scandal and, and this will be uh, remembered as the year that the anomaly happened. So we really think that now is the time to put pressure on these companies and um, you know, educate people themselves about the cruelty that goes on behind the scenes at the Iditarod. Uh, their core beliefs are 180 degrees from ours uh, and 180 degrees from the majority of Americans. Um, you know, they're, they're free to speak their mind just as we will.